hey Ricky, did uh, Christmas come early? That's right. Today, I got something super special for you. It's something I've been using for the past five months in secret. Is it a Toblerone? <laughs> it's a little bit more exciting <laughs> than a Toblerone. <laughs> All right. How about we find out? All right, let's unwrap. What do you have there, Jason? We got a keyboard, nice, nice looking keyboard. It says Royal Kludge here at the bottom. So what you have just discovered is one of Royal Kludge's mechanical keyboards. In fact, this is their 60% RK61 keyboard. Hmm, it's not very loud. It's actually pretty smooth. I've tested many keys before and it kind of reminds me of the brown or maybe a red key. This is a brown switch. Okay. Um, also, one thing I noticed is the font is actually pretty cool. I haven't really seen a font like this before. It looks really nice. It actually really stands out to me. So this keyboard actually does come in full black or full white, but I lost my white keys. <laughs> so I bought the replacement blacks. So that's why it's looking a little funky. It actually looks pretty sick when you do that though. It's cool. This is a, a nice hard plastic. Feels pretty sturdy. I guess it's to keep it in place. It actually does not move if I put it in place. Try moving it. <laughs> All right, so there is a port here. Looks like a type C port that will plug into the computer. You can use it both wired and wirelessly. So it will connect through Bluetooth and it can connect to up to three devices at the same time. Oh, so three devices. So I can plug it to, I can connect it to my computer and like an iPad. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty sick. Yeah. So you can play basically, you know, Minecraft mobile, Call of Duty mobile and Fortnite mobile at the same time. Oh, so I can play Fortnite mobile with an actual keyboard. All right. So it is your typical uh, USB to type C cable, but it does actually feel pretty smooth. There's no branding or anything. Keeping it simplistic. Do you want to see what this bad boy looks like when we plug it in? Oh, ba bam. All right. So from Ricky's trusty manual, switch backlight mode of 17 kinds. All right, we found it. We found the disco modes. Boom, Boom. Bam. bam. Wait, this one too? No bop, no bop today. No bop. Holy moly, okay. look at that. All right, so from the trusty manual that Ricky sent to before, so FN and backslash. Oh, look at that, now it's solid. Now you got a solid disco club. Apparently it's got 17 modes, so if we go going, we got, oh, we got the blue vibe. And we just, now we got no lights. <laughs> It might be a reactive mode, try tapping it. Oh, you're right, you're right. Oh, man. Look at that. You wanna go into your own disco? What's your favorite mode, Jason? I like this mode. <laughs> this is the brightness, so this is the reduce and this is increase. Yeah, so if you do reach the maximum brightness or the lowest, it will flicker red to tell you. Oh, okay, and if we make, reach the maximum low, we, there's no lights. Wow. Oh, there's a max speed? Max speed. Oh yeah, well that was a pretty wowzer keyboard. For for 60%, uh, that's the most lighting options I've seen for 60%. Very flashy keyboard. It doesn't have the, the feet stands, you know, like to keep your keyboard at an angle if you want to use it at an angle. So part of the RK61 design is that they want to make it both ergonomic and portable. And the reason they don't have the feet stands is because they also decided that eight degrees of the case is the most ergonomic. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Now I, now I see why I thought it was a Toblerone. This one is actually a budget keyboard selling for $65, oh. but you can get it on sale right now for $55. Well, that's nice. $55 to go on a rave. That's good. But if you do just like a single color and you don't care too much about RGB, there is a single color version for a flat 40. Oh, $40 if you don't want to rave. That's a good steal too. But yeah, I definitely think that the lighting options really set this uh, keyboard apart from the others. It's a very flashy keyboard to show off to your friends, which is like the whole point of buying a nice RGB keyboard, right? So. so you've seen and heard all about the RK61. Only one thing left to do. Well, it's time to go get a victory royale with the royale kludge. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Tactical player, grenade. Wait, I dropped my I dropped my pistol. How is that even possible? So I'll pick up his pistol. There we go. It's right here. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, there's a guy out there. <laughs> 
Let's go. Nice. I didn't even do anything. I bought, I bought six items that round. Wait, I missed that? Oh, baby. No, no. Oh, nice. I got him. It says unwrap JT most eliminations. <laughs> it it should have said unwrap JT all his eliminations. <laughs> I'm a digum. Holy oh, shit. Oh my god. I don't remember silver being this difficult. Again. Oh, I love Yeah. Woo. Oh, one more connector. Oh, man. That's crazy. Oh my god. That's it. Let's get. Got it. That guy's crazy. You <laughs> <laughs> see him in the chat. <laughs> Got him. Oh, here, another one. He's here, he's here. Got him. Another, another one. 22. Knock, knock. One more. 23 damage. So these guys are real guys, right? <laughs> yeah, all, all of these are real. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, where are the boys? You need to shoot the boys. Where are these guys at? <laughs> you sound like a cowboy. Oh, there's a guys to our 26. The guys? Wait, let me watch this. I'm watching, I'm watching. The guys know. I hit him 90. Oh no. Not like this. Oh, oh no! Unwrap more like unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I hope this guy dies. Woo! He RPG'd. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is it. First game of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my. He's good. No. I'm starting to think all my practice was useless. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no shotgun ammo. I'll take yours. Oh, you naughty boy. They're all dead. No more people alive. Hit them hard. I trapped them. It's a 64, 64. Oh, baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, we did it. We did it. We did it. It's over. It's over. We did it. Dude, first one back in four months. What did you think of the Royal Clutch RK61? You know, it was a pretty sweet keyboard. I had fun playing with it, but I gotta admit that it did take some time to get used to. I personally think it's too small for my liking, but I can see the benefits of having it as your pick of the day. So if you do want to check it out, links will be in the description below. I mean, they're on sale right now, so you can get like five bucks off of those prices. That's a steal. Yeah. Yeah. We have a top comment of the day, Ricky. That's right. Top comment of the day goes to Smo G. He says, why are they acting like they weren't gone for four months? 
And to that we say...